Apple unveiled a new MacBook Air with the M2 CPU and an entirely new look during this worldwide developer conference in June 2022. This new laptop debuted about two years after the MacBook Air, which shifted the series over the Apple Silicon and had the M1 chip inside. And despite the arrival of this new M2 MacBook Air, the M1 MacBook Air is still in Apple's lineup. So if you're looking for a MacBook Air but aren't sure which model is best for you, follow through till the end of the video and let us guide you. Hello and welcome to Crazy Tech. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy. Just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. After 14 years, three versions and two different chip architectures, the familiar wedge design of the MacBook Air is no longer available. It's been replaced with a brand new look that has the same thickness from front to back and an entirely new design. Almost all aspects of the new MacBook Air have been improved and this laptop is definitely the most significant update to the Air since its introduction over 14 years ago. These type of adjustments are significant because of millions of users. The Air and the standard laptop choice, beyond that, the Air establishes the benchmark for light and thin laptops, which every other manufacturer attempts to match. Price Let's start by discussing the price, because in the end, your budget will be the ultimate factor while trying to choose. The US and UK started pricing for the MacBook Air M1 2020 are $999 and £999 respectively, and there are three different color options for it. While starting price for the MacBook Air M2 2022 in the US and the UK are $1,199 and £1,249, and there are four different color variations of it. Design Compared to the 2020 model, the MacBook Air M2 2022 boasts an entirely new updated design that is absolutely gorgeous. The M2 model ditches the iconic wedge that has been a feature of the MacBook Air since 2008, including the M1 model, and adopts a flat lid, flat bottom, and overall boxier appearance, similar to that of the MacBook Pro models. In comparison to the MacBook Air M1 model, the bezels around the display have shrunk noticeably. The MacBook Air logo at the bottom of the screen has been removed, and the speakers have also been shifted. The keyboard on the 2022 MacBook Air contains full-height function keys as opposed to the half-height ones on the 2020 model. Both the MacBook Air 2022 model and the MacBook Air 2020 model have Apple's Magic Keyboard with Touch ID in the top right corner. But the 2022 model has its speakers placed on the top of the keyboard below the screen taking advantage of the hinge gap, while the 2020 model has speaker grills on either side of the keyboard. The 14-inch MacBook Pro's keyboard has also bought over to the new Air. Fortunately, it does not feature the dubious touch bar that is still strangely accessible on the most recent 13-inch MacBook Pro M2, but it does include a full height function row and touch ID. The keys are replaced comfortably and have enough travel. Additionally, they are a lot more quieter than earlier MacBook models with the infamous butterfly keyboard. Because the butterfly keyboard on those older models were so terrible, if you're switching from an older Intel-based MacBook, you would most likely appreciate the keyboard update. There are other design differences between the two MacBook Air variants. The M2 model comes in silver, space gray, starlight, and midnight colors, but the M1 model only has silver, space gray, and gold options. Display The MacBook Air 2022 features a slightly larger 13.6-inch liquid retina display than the 2021 MacBook Air's 13.3-inch display. This was made possible by the newer model's smaller bezels and the addition of the notch at the top of the display a feature that was previously exclusive to the larger MacBook Pro models. Although you won't notice it while using it, it's a feature that can cause controversy. It also makes the menu bar less crowded, which most people would definitely appreciate. Essentially, this means that when compared to the M1 model, the 2022 model offers colors that are punchier, brighter, and more vibrant. Additionally, it's also brighter at 500 nits than the previous model, which makes out at 400 nits. Although the MacBook Air M1 model still has an excellent display when comparing the two MacBook Air models side by side, all of this is still very obvious. Additionally, both models have True Tone technology, a P3 board color gambit, and 224 PPI pixel density for their respective resolutions. 
The M1 MacBook Air features a 720p camera at the top, whereas the M2 MacBook Air has a 1080p camera. Performance The MacBook Air M2 2022 model runs on Apple's M2 processor. It comes with a choice of a 10-core GPU and 512GB SSD, or an 8-core GPU and a 256GB SSD. Although it will cost more, both models can be upgraded to 2TB SSDs and an 8GB of RAM can be increased to either 16GB or 24GB. The M1 processor from Apple powers the MacBook Air M1 2020 model. Initially, it provided both an 8-core and a 7-core GPU variant, but only the 7-core model is now in stock. The 256GB SSD comes standard and can be upgraded to 2TB, while the 8GB of RAM is also upgradable to 16GB. The MacBook Air 2022 and the MacBook Air 2020 both include two USB-C, that's USB 4 with Thunderbolt 3 ports. However, the MacBook Air 22 also features the return of the MagSafe 3 port for charging the Air. You basically gain an additional USB-C port over the earlier model because of the MagSafe port. You can use both Thunderbolt capable ports for accessories rather than just one for charging the computer and the other for peripherals. Even in routine chores, the M2 MacBook Air 22 is faster in usage than the M1 MacBook Air, that's the M2 2021. However, the M1 is still a well-performing device and will be more than suitable for many people, including such students. But if you're a professional and need more power for editing and rendering those heavy videos or running your tech codes, then the M2 might be the best choice for you. Battery and Speakers the MacBook Air M2 2022 and the MacBook Air make the same battery life claims, 18 hours of movie playback and 15 hours of web browsing. Of course, how long this actually translates to in use depends on the individual user, and there's definitely better battery management on the newer M2, and that's probably because of the newer and more powerful chip. So most people should be able to get around 11 hours on the MacBook Air M1 and about 12 hours on the MacBook Air M2. Additionally, Apple offers a variety of chargers. The base model Air comes with a familiar 30-watt brick that's been around for years. However, the step-up version provides users the option of a brand new small 35-watt charger with two USB-C ports or a bigger, more potent 67-watt brick that is taken from the MacBook Pro range. The larger brick can provide a 50% battery charge for the Air in just 30 minutes. Despite the M2 Air's four-speaker audio, it is odd that the MacBook Air M1's overall speaker performance is actually better in most cases. While the M2 MacBook Air is a little muffled at higher volumes, due to the speaker placement, the 2020 model delivers a wider sound stage. However, the MacBook Air 2 does support Dolby Atmos spatial audio when playing music or videos on its built-in speakers. And this works very nicely. When using AirPods 3, AirPods Max, AirPods Pro, spatial audio with dynamic head tracking is also supported and this works all well. Although the M1 MacBook Air does not support this, all the Apple AirPods can still be used with it. Apple's MacBook Air M2 2022 is a top-notch device with a lightweight, portable, and stunning design. It offers a reliable and seamless performance. Nonetheless, the MacBook Air M1 2020 model is also a strong performer, and if you don't like the new Air design, the M1 model maintains the tried and tested wedge appearance. The current model costs significantly more than 2020 model, but in compensation, you get improved battery and display performance, a high-resolution camera, more RAM options, more color options, and support for spatial audio. So what do you think of the new MacBook Air M2? Would you be upgrading to it? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section.